Привіт. Так, привіт, доброго дня, хлопці. Руслан, Руслан, відео зможеш тимкнути, ні? Someone just sent you a very nice gift. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen, for doing that. Oh, super. Там є налаштування, і там іконка відео. Ah, hey. О, привіт, привіт. Hi. Hey. Now, uh, what is, what is, uh, do you speak any English? Yeah. Хочеш трохи говорити по-англійською чи ні? A little bit. Okay. Like my Russian. And my Russian. Не много по-русски. А Джон трошки говорить українською. Ну, трошки трошки, але говорить. What is uh, I'm John. What is your name? Зовут? Руслан. Руслан. Так. Right. Um All right, Ruslan, I will ask in English, and if you need, Vlad can translate. Um, you are in Kherson right now. I will show people on the map. Basically, Kherson is this province here, okay, in southern Ukraine. The dam is right here. The Russians blew the dam, and it flooded this entire area. Um, Ukraine controls north of the river, the Russians control south of the river, so it's occupied by the Russians. Um, now, your group has been there for several days trying to save the animals. Do you have any sense of how many animals you have saved? John asks, how many animals have you saved? How many days have Uh, скільки днів ви знаходитесь у, у цьому регіоні і скільки приблизно тварин ви врятували? Ну, сьогодні у нас вже восьмий день перебування у Херсоні. Uh, ми приїхали на другий день. Uh, коли ми дізналися про те, що зірвали Каховську ГЕС, ми все час були в часі в Ярі. У нас там була планова евакуація тварин із зони бойових дій. І фактично в той день ми зібралися і в ніч виїхали. І от свою роботу ми почали в середу, і до сьогодні ми залишаємось в Херсоні. Угу. Оскільки всього приблизно ваша група врятувала? А, наразі точно не можу сказати, але більше ста. Ну, більше ста. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me translate. Uh, uh, Ruslan comes directly to the Kherson the next day after this catastrophe happened. Uh, and uh, they come to the Kherson directly from the Chasif Yar. Chasif Yar that's uh, near Bakhmut. Uh, they uh, uh, do rescue of animals uh, in the, near Bakhmut in the Chasif Yar. And after he heard about Kherson, he immediately start driving to the Kherson. Uh, Uh, to, uh, today exactly they already rescued eight animals and uh, since the beginning it was more than 100 something like that do they you know one of the questions i had before you came on was why are the animals there did were people forced to leave the pets when the disaster hit why didn't the pets go with the people do you know Добре, трошки перекладу. На твою думку, як ти вважаєш, а чому така велика кількість тварин залишилась? Тому що люди просто не встигли їх взяти з собою, чи вони просто там жили, чи якісь інші причини? Я думаю, що просто багато людей не встигли тварин забрати з собою. Тому що дамбу підірвали в робочий день, за час багато людей Можливо, хтось вдома не був, можливо, хтось поїхав кудись, і, і рівень води почав дуже швидко підніматися. І фактично ми зараз в тій частині Херсону, яка м, прямо біля Дніпра. І тут рівень води піднявся досить таки швидко, тому не всі встигли е, забрати своїх тварин. Okay. Uh, let me translate. Uh, so, uh, a lot of people just uh, don't have enough time uh, to uh, put uh, his pets, uh, and that's the main problem. Uh, 
they right now in the region with a very high water level and uh, this level uh, was increasing too fast and uh, also another thing that that was work day and a lot of people uh, was in the work in the nearby cities and that's why and oh. that's uh, this time just stay at home that's an another reason why that actually happens what uh, was there more I'm sorry no go ahead what are the conditions like now is there still flooding Які зараз, який зараз стан води і чи вода зараз досі стоїть, чи як там взагалі ситуація? Так, до цих пір зберігається доволі таки високий рівень води. Звичайним транспортом сюди не заїдеш, сюди також не пройдеш. Тому от ми всі ці дні змушені були сюди запливати, заходити на човнах. І зараз рівень води і в залежності від місця він зберігається де пів метра, де метр, де півтора метра. От е, я хотів вам наразі показати стан актуальний е, речей, але на жаль там просто немає інтернет з'єднання. Тому я змушений був вийти на велику воду, щоб у нас був зв'язок, щоб можна було поговорити з вами. Добре. Uh, okay, uh, right now uh, level is still is very high, uh, from uh, 50 centimeters to uh, 2 meters, uh, exactly in the region uh, where uh, rescue right now doing. And uh, the, the, the main problem is there's no way to get there uh, by... Uh, by just swimming or with car, only one way to go there, that's with boat, and that's all. And that's uh, much more difficult to, to do in this one. Uh, right now, uh, Ruslan exactly screaming from the place with big water, because exactly uh, on the regions where they rescue uh, animals, uh, unfortunately, no internet right now. That's actually a typical story about her, so, yeah, and uh, John, could you please tell people about fundraising, uh, what we are doing right now with uh, Ruslan yeah. also for yeah. Ruslan? Yeah. So, and actually, and just what Vlad was saying, so basically the waters are still around two to three feet deep, is what he's saying, where they're going. Um, he may be on a boat. Is he on a boat? Yeah. Is he on a boat? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. You, you can see that. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> that's funny. Zdravstvice says Washington. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, well, people can see, therefore, you can see there's still a lot of water, right? Um, so, yeah, so we've been fundraising for uh, several of the different groups, including these guys, over the last several days. Um, we're taking the donations via Vlad's PayPal account. Um, I had it saved to put here, Vlad. If you know what, if you want to type it up really quick, Vlad. Remember though, it's your name. Let me copy it for you, Vlad, because you've got you have to get it right. Uh, we were using Vlad's PayPal account, which you can find in my profile on TikTok. Uh, go to my profile on TikTok, guys. Click the link tree link, and the very first thing that comes up will be the information for Vlad's PayPal in Ukraine. Uh, it's not a link once you get there. You basically have to go to your PayPal and then use Vlad's email, you know, to send the, the money. Uh, Vlad, I'm going to send you because my link includes Vlad's name because Vlad is Ukrainian. And Ukrainian names use a Cyrillic alphabet. It's the same alphabet the Russians use. It almost looks like Greek. Um, it, because it's a different alphabet, when you translate it into English, the names aren't always spelled the same. So Vlad actually has two different spellings of his name just to make it confusing in English because it's not spelled in English. So um, what, I, what, I, what I've got in the profile, and I just entered Vlad, if he can put it in the comments here, is the spelling of Vlad's name as a name, and then his Gmail account, which is spelled different, just so you know, because sometimes, oh, Gmail, will, sometimes Gmail will ask you for the full name as well. Um, but in any case, we're, we're, uh, we're accepting the money via Vlad's PayPal. 100% of the money goes directly to the animal, uh, the animal welfare group. I'm not taking any, Vlad's not taking any. Um, so if you, and actually today we're raising money for, the, for these guys, okay? So the money you give today will go to these guys. They said they need at least $500. What was the story next, Vlad? 
uh, to collect additional uh, food, medicine, and bags, meaning uh, you know containers to put the animals in. They need at least another five hundred dollars. They hoped. So if you guys could donate right now, I'd appreciate it. Again, uh, go to my profile, click the link tree link, and the very first thing that comes up will be the information for Vlad's PayPal. Go into your PayPal and use it. Vlad, if you want to copy your information I just gave you on, on Signal, copy it and paste it in the comments. I'll, I'll break it down. Perfect. Yep. Uh, do it again so people have it there. And then and um, then we'll ask Ruslan. Actually, does anybody have questions for Rus for, uh, for Ruslan? <laughs> Uh, I found one question uh, in com in comment. Uh, Roslan, uh, підкажи, будь ласка, а не здетоновані міни і взагалі яка міна наскільки міна небезпека у тих регіонах, де ви рятуєте тварин, і uh, чи трапляються вам взагалі на шляху міни? Ну на шляху, якщо ми говоримо про морські міни. Нічого сказати вам не можу, тому що я таких не бачив. Але тут зберігається доволі такий високий ризик обстрілу. Тому що весь, всі ці дні нашого перебування в Херсоні кожного дня його обстрілювали. Тут є можливість піднімати дрони у росіян. Вони це роблять. Вони визначають локації скупчення людей і починають їх обстрілювати. І це вже було не один раз, що вони намагалися якраз попасти чітко по тим локаціям, звідки йшла евакуація людей, евакуація тварин. Тому от, навіть сьогодні, навіть сьогодні і, і перебуваючи і в цій частині Херсону, затоплені, все одно вона і підпадає під обстріли. Uh, let, let me, by the way, before Vlad translate this question, just to remind folks, because some people are new here, uh, I'm John Arvosis, I'm in Washington, D.C. I'm with my friend uh, Vladislav uh, Napikovsky in, uh, in southwestern Ukraine, excuse me, and Ruslan, whose last name I didn't get. <laughs> Ruslan, what's your family name? Ruslan... Yaka tvoje prizvuče, Ruslan? Gorbal. 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 Gorbal? Gorbal. It's a short name. Okay, good one. Uh, I'm used to Ukraine now, Brikovsky, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so with Ruslan, who's with um, Animal Rescue Kharkiv, which is an animal welfare group out of Kharkiv, Ukraine. Kharkiv is all the way up here in northwestern Ukraine. Um, when the flooding happened, they were already working around the area of Bakhmut, which is very scary because it's where a lot of fighting is going on. And they drove all the way down to, to Kherson, where the flooding is right now. That's where they are. He's actually reporting to us from the flood. He's on a boat with uh, two of his colleagues. Um, that's why you're seeing the water behind on him. They're literally... Uh, Ruslan, show us the boat again. Можешь показать the water еще раз? Так, звісно, я навіть шаптану на корму, щоб її було краще видно. О, обережно там. Секунду. О. They're in the yeah, they're they're in the middle. Of, they're literally in the middle of the to save people, and we wanted to get them on the ship because we're raising money to help save animals. We raised money to help save people last week. We're now raising money to help save the animals. These are pets that were abandoned, but not by choice. A lot of people basically had to flee immediately when the floods came with things like cats. You can imagine they're outside the house. Some people were away uh, for work in the you know two towns over. They weren't able to get their pets. So Ruslan and his friends is probably saving the animals. They've already already saved 100 pets and we're raising money for them uh, right now. You go to my profile, uh, click the link, link free link, and you'll see uh, our PayPal information. 100% of the money will go to Ruslan. Vlad will also paste the PayPal information in the comments again. 100% of that money and the PayPal right now will go to these guys. So Vlad, uh, we'd ask Ruslan a question and you would translate it. What was the question and then the answer? Uh, uh, question was about mines. Uh and about uh, dangerous region. So exactly with mines, uh, this problem is minor because uh, usually all mines, uh, not exactly in the water, but uh, after the water. And uh, But another big problem that Russians unfortunately use a lot of uh, drones in this region. And immediately after Russians uh, see uh, uh, people, 
a group of people uh, they start bombing uh, the, this region so uh, russian uh, do intelligence on this region with drones almost non-stop and uh, they are looking for the people and it uh, doesn't matter if these people are civilians or not they start bombing these groups of people that's why ruslan uh, and uh, guys uh, can go only with uh, some small groups uh, not a big group of people and everything else um, what kind of animals have you saved? Are they mostly cats and dogs, or what? Uh, uh, what? What do you mean? Sorry. What types of animals have they saved? Cats and dogs, or other types as well? Uh, other types as well. Uh, we can ask Ruslan about this one. Руслан, а яких тварин ви рятували, окрім кішок та собак? Були ще якісь тварини? And is uh, 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 So, uh, uh, exactly right now, uh, Ruslan friends try to rescue 11 of chickens, and chickens, oh. uh, yeah, and chickens is uh, uh, one of the most uh, popularity, and exactly right now, uh, Ruslan's friends try to rescue 11 chickens. And they did, it, <laughs> it work or... huh? did it work? Did it work? They okay, they, they okay, yeah. Oh, they got him! Oh, good! Oh, <laughs> they saved the <laughs> What, um, was, was, was any of the work particularly dangerous? I mean, was there any one rescue that was actually, you know, kind of the most dangerous one you did? Or has it not been too bad in terms of safety? Ruslan, uh, 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 порятунок був найбільш небезпечний от за ці дні? Що ти що траплялося з такого небезпечного? Ви знаєте, перші дні був дуже високий рівень води. Вона доходила 2, 3, 4 метри. Дуже багато таких сміттєвих паскравів плавало. Okay, uh, one of the most dangerous it was actually the first day uh, because level of water uh, was too high, uh, up to four meters, five meters of water, and a lot of buildings, you know, start to uh, uh, start to change their position. And uh, sometimes uh, when you try to step somewhere, you just uh, go outside the water. Uh, uh, and uh, that was the most dangerous. Uh, uh, so something like that. So, yeah, so he's saying they've been in some areas where the water has been as high as 15 feet high, which is five meters, and you're stepping into something that you think is secure, and all of a sudden it just falls right through, yes. and you've now fallen in 15 feet of water, which, you know, is a little scary things now, which actually raises the other question somebody asked, which is, um, are they worried about mines, landmines, or anything? Because from what we've heard here, there's food and water and all sorts of things. Uh, John, uh, this group asked uh, to share a photo. I don't know oh. if you can open. I sent to signal photo. Uh, uh, yeah. that's, uh, that's a very popular actual photo. Uh, that's the first dog which uh, Ruslan actually... Uh, oh! Yes. Oh, I didn't know that! Yes. Oh, this, is a <laughs> this is a famous photo, folks. I did not realize that this was a dog that Ruslan and his group saved. Yes, it's a photo exactly. of this poor animal that 
you know, was was clearly terrified, hanging on to the leg. Oh my God, I had no idea. I had no idea that was loose. I mean, this this photo, this this photo is like a Pulitzer photo. I mean, this is like a prize winning photo. Wow. Uh, also, I can share some uh, insights about this one. Uh, the name of this dog is uh, Gina. Gina. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a girl, and uh, she is right now in Odessa, and she is okay. Okay. Well, what, actually, that raises a that raises a good question. Somebody had asked me, earlier, "What are you doing with the animals? Um, are you trying to find the owners, and how successful are you?" Руслан, Джон цікавиться, а що далі трапляється з тваринами? Ви намагаєтесь знайти хозяїв чи пристроїти їх кудись? Можеш трошки розказати про це? Так, звісно, всі тваринки до нас, яких ми рятуємо, ми робимо фотографії і стараємося розмістити на усіх соцмережах. свою тварину загублено, могли її таким чином і погнали і знайти. Це практично і тварина, якщо її знайти, то діяти такий розпочулок, знайти таку перетримку, то тільки з цією метою, щоб в подальшому знайти для себе сім'ю, щоб вона могла жити із сім'єю своєю. Okay, uh, so let me translate this one. Uh, first thing what uh, this organization is done, they make all photos of all pets, uh, what uh, they rescue all animals, and uh, they try to find the original actually, people who own these uh, animals. Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, they post uh, in a lot of social media so this photo that uh, this dog is rescued. Please uh, uh, tell, uh, call this phone on about this one and everything like this one. Uh, uh, also, uh, immediately they start to find in some shelter, uh, some temporary shelter uh, of these animals. And after that, if nobody uh, calls to the phone, if nobody uh, ask about this one, uh, they just uh, they just try to find new uh, new parents for these animals. Something like been, this one. Have they been successful in finding any of the owners? Руслан, наскільки чи були вже випадки, коли хозяїва зверталися до вас, що вони загубили тварину і ви повертали хозяїва? Перетулком тварин ми займаємося вже доволі таки довгий час. В зв'язку із цією катастрофою ми зараз перебуваємо в Херсоні, але до того і весь час цієї великої війни ми займалися окладою зони бойових дій по лінії, по лінії зіткнення. Це Харківська, Донецька область. Тому фактично, а ще до того, практично 10 років ми займалися перетулком тварин і в самому місті Харків та в Харківській області. Тому, скажімо так, за весь наш період роботи було дуже багато таких випадків, коли господарі завдяки тому, що ми рятували, забирали за себе тварину, потім їх знаходили. А, а в Херсоні яка приблизно кількість господарів до вас звернулася? Ну, приблизно 10-5. Uh, okay, so uh, Ruslan uh, talked about this one, that uh, uh, actually their organization is very experienced about this one. Uh, uh, they have, uh, before Kherson, a lot of experience in Kharkiv and Donetsk region. Uh, so actually they um, started doing this one before actually war started. Uh, they do animal rescue job. And uh, exactly in the Kherson, Ruslan uh, told that about 30 to 40 percent uh, of owners uh, of the animals uh, find the animals. So about, uh, that's more than 30 percent. 
so each uh, third, uh, so that's about uh, more than 30 animals uh, right now find uh, because they put not only photos they also put uh, in the social media exactly location where they found animal and uh, that's how owners uh, can uh, find uh, the animals right right okay yeah i'd, I'd asked uh, whether they're actually able to find the owners because of course the floods are still going on so the owners are not in their homes their homes are flooded so it's got to be very difficult to find them now um what uh something that's how he and his colleague what are they doing i mean this is going to be very stressful i just have that <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> how are Ruslan and his colleagues doing? This work has to be very stressful. How are they doing emotionally? Ah, dobre. Ruslan, we tot. Did he freeze? Yeah, uh, maybe he, he might have frozen. Just yeah, oh, there, he just there is. Ah, yeah. I noticed it. Uh, <laughs> Джон питається, наскільки ваша робота стресова для вас? Який зараз емоційний стан в цілому ваш, вашої групи, ваш особисто? Добре, я зараз перекладу. Uh, so uh, about uh, stressful works uh, the question was uh, how actually uh, work is stressful uh, for him uh, uh, Ruslan asked is that too difficult question uh, you know he is scary not about uh, about animals uh, he just scary about scale of this uh, of this catastrophe uh, so many buildings uh, was outside of the water uh, so many people uh, so many uh, animals was outside of the water and exactly this scale of catastrophe they spent already eight days uh, there and scale is uh, very very huge uh, a lot of buildings uh, outside of the water and uh, uh, need more and more work for help everybody just to remind folks, uh, we're talking with Ruslan and his colleagues in Kherson, Ukraine, which is where, thank you, Carol, which is where the floods are taking place. Uh, this happened, you may recall, when the dam blew up last week. Um, pretty widely believed that the Russians blew the dam uh, in order to stop the Ukrainian offensive in the area. And it ended up flooding, uh, you know, put, well, actually putting about 40,000 Ukrainians' lives at risk immediately, but affecting several hundred thousand Ukrainians, cutting off water. Uh, water levels are as high as 15 feet, or they have been. They're getting a little lower now, but Ruslan was saying the water levels are still at around two or three feet. Uh, a lot of pets were abandoned, not by choice, uh, but you know, the flooding happened. People had to get out of the house. Uh, either the animals were already outside or uh, people weren't even at home. So he and his colleagues have been there saving animals. They've been saving about uh, 100 so far since they've been there. They're one of several groups, and we are raising. Uh, he's actually coming to us live from a boat. Uh, on the water in Kherson, where they've been saving the animals, we are raising money to um, help his group. If you would consider helping out, we'd really appreciate it. 100% of your donations during the live today will go only to, uh, to Ruslan's group. We've been raising money actually for the animal group the last several days to split it, but because Ruslan's with us today, uh, any dollar you give, any euro you give right now will go 100% to Ruslan's group. Uh, you can find the link in my profile. Go to my profile on TikTok. You'll see the link tree link. Click it 
And the first thing that comes up will be a PayPal account for uh, my friend Vlad here, who's with us in Ukraine as well. And when you go to the, uh, the PayPal, simply uh, use the information. Here, I'll show you. It comes up on link three. Oop, it's going to take a while. There we go. And the very first thing that comes up with the Ukrainian flag is Vlad's PayPal information. You will go to your PayPal and use Vlad's information to send the money. Uh, that link, nothing happens if you click the link. That's not how you donate. You go to your PayPal and use Vlad's email. But if you guys would help out, I appreciate it. 100% will go to Rootfront Group. Let's ask them a couple more questions and then let them go because they've been really generous to sit with us all this time. Um, somebody had asked, have they rescued any big animals, like any things like horses or wild animals, you know, wildlife or anything? <laughs> Uh, I hear a lot of noise oh. from Ruslan, uh, but have no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no hold on. Have they any wildlife or big animal? I just. Uh, uh, yeah, I also heard uh, uh, wind from the Ruslan or not, John? That's okay. I just I I'm writing you on signal. Ah, uh, okay. А, Джон питає, чи бачив ти, чи може ви рятували якихось великих тварин, типу там корів, лошадей та інших? Uh, no, 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 Jane. They uh, didn't notice any any big animals uh, uh, at all, uh, and uh, Ruslan don't know exactly why actually this one. But uh, uh, he, they the group uh, don't see this one. Uh, uh, also, I want to ask one more question to Ruslan from the chat. Uh, what, what do you mean? Uh, uh, how uh, how much long Ruslan will be here in life, John? No, no, no. Uh, saving the animals. How long? Ah, uh, тоді давайте будемо так трошки швидше відповідати. А скільки ви плануєте бути ще у цій зоні, у цьому регіоні, Руслан? Повтори, будь ласка. Добре. Uh, so uh, during the time the water level uh, will be high, uh, they will still uh, stay here. So uh, they think about a couple of weeks or so, something oh, like this one. A couple yeah. of weeks uh, they'll be there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's too uh, bad. Uh, hmm. Look at the next question, Vlad, I sent you. Руслан, а Русня досі Actually, he's, he's paused one second. Guys, while Руслан has paused, I want to tell you, he's got his microphone off on purpose because he's also talking to Vlad, it's like separately, so that if his microphone's on, you're going to get double Руслан speaking, which will be confusing. Because he's speaking in Ukrainian anyway, we've got Vlad translator. Go ahead, Vlad. Руслан Джон питається, наразі Русня досі обстрілює під час евакуації і волонтерів? Обстріли досі продовжуються? Вони обстрілюють постійно і вони не дивляться. Волонтери – це військові, цивільні, чи це житлові будинки, будинки чи це перебої, як це для них, це не важливо. Обстріли йдуть постійно. Uh, Ruslan, uh, uh, about the uh, uh, question is, uh, are the Russians still firing at refugees and rescuers? 
and turns with its yes, uh, uh, all people actually, uh, 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 Russians firing all people. Uh, and doesn't matter if this volunteer, if this press, if this uh, rescue group or some or refugee, uh, uh, Russians firing every group of people that they are fined. And now, that was nonstop uh, also during the night. Now, Daniel was asking how people can help. Uh, just so folks know, we're talking with uh, Rus Ruslan, who's with a group called Animal Rescue Kharkiv, Ukraine. Um, as soon as the flooding happened in southwestern, uh, southern uh, Ukraine, actually, with Russia, the group made a uh, horrific flooding 15 feet high, 5 meters high. A number of folks, like Ruslan, went down there to save the animal rights. A number of people's pets, dogs, cats, even chickens, he said they saved, um, and the animal had been put at risk from flooding. Yeah, up to 15 feet, five meters high of water. So he's down there literally on a boat right now, saving the animals, broadcasting to us live from the boat with his colleagues. And we've got him live talking to you guys. We are raising money to, uh, to help his specific rescue group. They need at least $500 more for food, for medicine, for more uh, st uh, storage containers to basically put the animals in. They, they catch the animal and then put it into a container, container a carrying bag of sorts for each animal to obviously keep it safe in the boat because they don't want the animal jumping out of the boat again. Um, but they need more money for those. You can find the contact, uh, excuse me, the PayPal in my profile on TikTok. Click the link tree link. It'll take you to a page. At the very top, you will see my friend Vlad, who's right here at the top here, his PayPal information. Send your donation via PayPal. Uh, the link doesn't work. You just copy Vlad's PayPal information and use your PayPal to send it. 100% of the money you send, we will send to uh, to uh, to Ruslan's group. Uh, ask me, Vlad. I don't know if you want to look and see. Hopefully, people have been sending money. Can you check while we're live? Yes. Uh, right now, we received during the live uh, about uh, two hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, okay. Thanks a lot to everybody. Right. Uh, uh, from Stephanie, stand, I see from Enki, from Joe, uh, also from Michael, Michael, and from Susan. That's what I see. The latest okay. one sends uh, a lot uh, to everybody for uh, your donation. Uh, that's amazing. And uh, uh, r right now we have uh, 280 and 220 more we needed. Well, if one. if guys can, I mean, we'll keep raising. We will keep fundraising anyway. But I, I, we're going to let Ruslan go in a second. Maybe one or two more questions. But if there's a chance, folks, they need 500 dollars. They need 220 dollars more. If there's a chance. It would be nice if we could raise them the $250 extra they need before Ruslan goes, if you can. As I said, PayPal information, PayPal will come up as the first thing. You will then copy that information from the your PayPal to enter the ads. 100% the Ruslan. Um, maybe one or two more questions more, and then we should. Have yeah, to uh, I notice. I notice a very interesting question. Want to ask Ruslan? Uh, Ruslan, my name is Manichota. Добре. Дуже цікаве питання. На твою думку, а чим звичайна людина може допомогти тваринам під час війни, окрім придбання там їжі і ліків? Що, що на твою думку, чим звичайна людина може допомогти тваринам? Так, це дійсно цікаве питання. Я думаю, що основа всього – це небайдужість. От просто не думати, що ця біда стосується когось, що ця біда мене безпосередньо нас. Тому що, скажімо так, в небайдужості ми можемо знаходити якісь варіанти допомоги. І кожна людина, і, скажімо так, свій оптимальний варіант для себе знайде самостійно. От, наприклад, я вам показував свій човен, я вам показував двох хлопців, які зі мною плавають. Щоб ви розуміли, ці хлопці приїхали спеціально з міста Київ, вони привезли свій човен. І вони плавають з нами зараз в команді, тому що вони є і професійні, як з мене. Тобто люди, які займаються і вітрильним спортом, і вони допомагають нам цій евакуації. От, здавалось би, абсолютно звичайні люди, чим вони можуть допомогти. Але вони свій варіант знайшли. 
Так само і тут. Хтось може допомогти, просто перерахувавши якісь кошти, хтось може допомогти тим, що візьме до себе безпритульну тварину, хтось може допомогти тим, що прийде притулок і допоможе над твариною, допоможе реабілітувати тварину, доглядати за твариною, вигулювати тварину. То ну, варіантів насправді дуже багато допомоги. Якщо буде потрібно щось повторити, то я повторю. Або щось додати, я додам. Бо інформації ну, багато. Буду намагатися. А ти можеш зараз перевести фокуси якраз на хлопців? Я про них буду розповідати. Можеш Добре. їх показати? Давайте покажу. Ага. Окей, uh, okay. uh, let me translate. I specially uh, ask Ruslan to show uh, his friends uh, the answer was uh, uh, how can uh, regular people help animals uh, during the war and uh, what he uh, you know about this one. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, um, the most important Ruslan thing that uh, exactly indifference and uh, help uh, and understand the problem problem uh, and exactly uh, show your show your action and uh, do something exactly uh, he, his friends Ruslan friends come from the kids and uh, actually they are professional sailing uh, person who uh, who already and uh, that's actually board uh, of this person so they are professional uh, sailing people uh, and uh, also Ruslan say that uh, this sports sportsmen uh, uh, persons who do in sports just come uh, from Kiev and start helping with rescue they never do this before uh, and uh, uh, they join in the Ruslan team Uh, about uh, uh, other pe pe people, what Ruslan uh, says, that's also uh, each person can come to the shelter uh, in the dangerous or in the not dangerous region and uh, help with way to animals, walk uh, with animals uh, or uh, just talk with animals. Uh, it can be done by any person, something like that. Hey, uh, um... Telling them to also have people send gifts to uh, tell them I've also told people to try to send TikTok gifts because at least the TikTok gifts to them give them some of the money too. So if people could do that right before they right before they go, um, ask them. I mean, any sort of final final things? I mean, any kind of final thing you want to say? And then we'll see if we have one or two more questions. Thank you, Carl. I saw that. Uh, so, just final question, uh, or just ask Ruslan uh, to summarize something? Ask Ruslan to summarize, and if people have one more question left, otherwise it's Ruslan just for sort of his final ideas. Добре. Руслан, просто можеш щось сказати від себе, можеш щось побажати, щось ще, ну, будь-що, що ти хочеш сказати про порятунок тварин, взагалі про війну, я перекладу, і я думаю, що на цьому будемо потрошки закінчувати. Ну, добре, я тоді спробую сказати так от частинами, щоб ця інформація була не така вже об'ємна, щоб простіше було її перекладати. Добре. Ну, перш за все, я хочу, от, саме основне, я хочу подякувати, тому що в тих подіях, які зараз відбуваються в нас в країні, дуже багато людей, вони нам допомагають. Допомагають своєю підтримкою, допомагають зброєю наші західні союзники, допомагають фінансово, допомагають тим, що самі приїжджають до нас в Україну. За це їм велика подяка. Це перша частина. Uh, I, I will be translated from part to part, okay? Uh, the first part uh, that uh, Ruslan wants to say thanks to everyone who helped uh, animals, any, any foreigners who come to Ukraine for helping Ukraine, uh, any other countries and foreigners who send weapons to defend our country, and uh, that's the most important. Uh, each help is needed uh, to, to everyone who donate to Ukraine, because uh, that's also so very important because you know that the volunteers in general in Ukraine is a huge process. Давай далі. Далі. Друга частина, я хотів би поділитися нашими такими невеличкими планами на майбутнє. 
Наша організація вже працює близько 10 років. Ми займалися порятунком тварин в самому Харкові. Почалася, коли почалася Велика війна, ми почалися займатися евакуацією тварин з доху бойових дій. Зараз ми собі побудували клініку. У нас є своя клініка. Зараз у нас є центр адопції для котів. І в нас в планах є побудувати також такий от центр реабілітації для Тому що за останні півтори року ми евакуювали близько 10 тисяч тварин із зони бойових дій. Наразі у нас залишається близько тисячі тварин під нашим наглядом. І якщо з котами більш-менш все окей у нас, то е, от у нас є така мрія побудувати такий от, е, дуже красивий і зручний центр для реабілітації е, собак, для е, адаптації собак. Е, тому що дуже багато із них втратили своїх господарів, вони налякані, і багато із них приїжджають в такому от стані, що на них багато паразитів, є поранені собаки. Так що так. Зараз. Зараз буду перекладати. One second, please. Уточни, якщо щось може не так, то просто уточни. Нормально, нормально, нормально. Буду, якщо щось від себе додавати. So, the second thing, Руслан wants to talk about their plans. Not exactly Руслан, but their organization plans for the future and for about current work. Uh, they're uh, working right now more than 10 years uh, exactly in the Kharkiv region and since the full-scale war starting uh, they start evacuation from the uh, from the war zone uh, from the front lines and everything else uh, they already uh, create uh, some adoption center and uh, a rehabilitation center for the dogs and uh, d during the full scale war start started uh, they evacuated more than 10,000 uh, animals in in total uh, uh, about 1000 uh, they have in the shelters up to now they already created a special clinic uh, for the dogs and cats and uh, other animals uh, exactly in the heart uh, and uh, right now their main plan uh, he says that with cats it's uh, much more easier to uh, to do rehabilitation and to do adoption but exactly for, for the dogs uh, that's much more difficult because some of the dogs are aggressive some of the dogs uh, need to have a med medicine and everything else and uh, uh, the nearest plan uh, for now that's to build a beautiful and comfortable center for the rehabilitation and adoption of dogs uh, which will contain more than 500 dogs and that's one of the main point of their plans up to now Actually, one thing I want to tell people as well. Obviously, you can follow Ruslan's account, which is their the, uh, animal rescue group in Kharkiv. Is what that account is. It actually says that in, in Ukrainian at the bottom. And I just looked. If you go to their page, if you go to their uh, their page on TikTok, you'll see the link tree link. Click it. Even though it's in Ukrainian, it doesn't matter. Click the link tree link, and I want you to see what comes up. The page is in Ukrainian, but there's a PayPal right there in the middle. That's how you can support these guys directly as well if you want. Hit the PayPal link and you can send them money directly via PayPal. Although it's coming up in German, tell him, so it's a little confusing. Actually, he ought to know this. Tell him this. The page comes up with some German consent thing, which in English doesn't help. Uh, oh, I hit the PayPal uh, link on his link for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, we, we will fix together with, okay. uh, uh, later. I'll for right now, uh, for right now, to make it easy, since it comes in German, uh, go to go to my my profile on TikTok. Click the link tree link, and the first thing that comes up is the information for Vlad's PayPal. Vlad, who's right here with us, and 100% of the money you give to that, um, we will be giving to Ruslan's group. So just go there, copy the information, and then go to it. You can't click the link. Just go and read it. Read the information of Vlad's, and then go to your PayPal and enter it in. Um, I think, uh, you know, let's just 
final, since we've been an hour, let's just give Ruslan one final uh, thing to say and then tell him we'll sign off. And by the way, just to remind folks, we are with uh, Ruslan, who is with uh, the animal welfare group from Kharkiv, Ukraine in the Northeast. When the flooding happened, they immediately drove down to the floods in southern Ukraine as a result of the Russians blowing up a dam in the area. Big humanitarian disaster, but also big disaster for animals. A lot of people's pets were trapped, and Ruslan is there with a lot of other volunteers helping save pets. They've already, his group has already saved 100 pets. Um, you can also donate to him as people are doing maybe as the last push let's buy some gifts for Luke, uh, for Ruslan's group so you can buy TikTok, TikTok gifts specifically for them and they'll get the money rather than me which would be nice um, but um, uh, let's we're going to have Ruslan do a quick little maybe final comment and then we're going to say goodbye uh, okay. how much money Brad how much money is, is come in now uh, we're trying to raise $500 uh, uh, no, 500 we are not raised of, uh, for sure. Uh, let me let me find. Uh, We're trying to raise $500 for his group because they need more food, uh, more medicine, and more of the carrying containers for the animals. Actually, you know what? I do have one more question for him after you check the amount of money. Oh, 475. Oh, like $25. $25. <laughs> I want $25 right now. And we've got the money they needed. Thank you guys so much. Let so, uh, him tell him. <laughs> Так, Руслан, мы, до речі, за стрім зібрали порядка 475 доларів. Е, так, е, дуже вдячний тобі. І, Джон, do you want to ask some question? Or we can uh, yeah, say... I, was gonna, I was gonna ask him. I was curious, what did they do at night with the animals? They kept the animal during the day in the flood. Where, where does the animal spend the night? Because they're still in the flood area. Добре, давай останні, останні питання, і ми будемо закінчувати. Можеш одразу сказати, як кажуть, останнє речення. А, а куди, куди тварини відвозяться на ніч? Тобто ви їх вдень евакуйовуєте, і де, де ночують тварини, і де ви, до речі, ночуєте також? Нам друзі допомогли пустили нас і свій будинок, зараз там ніхто не живе. І там, в залежності від того, коли ми приїжджаємо із тваринами, ми їх або відвозимо одразу в сусіднє місто, щоб їх можна було оглянути і якусь допомогу, допомогу надати. А частину тварин ми просто забираємо до себе на ніч. І вже на наступний день допомогу надаємо, яка для них потрібна. Тому що буває, що ми з води повертаємося в день, а буває, що повертаємося там пізно вночі, там близько там 9 години вечора. Тому от, і, ті тварини, які приїжджають ввечері, ми забираємо їх до себе на ніч. Добре. І на останок. І на останок я скажу так, от, якась кількість років тому ми здумали, от який може бути девіз у нашої організації тварин Харків. От якийсь такий от короткий слоган, який би, скажімо так, от характеризував нашу роботу. І от і, 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 прийшла в голову така думка, і цей слоган звучить так. Хай життя переможе все. І я розумію, що і, незважаючи на всі складності, не, 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 ті, що є у нас і, з тваринами, ті, що зараз у нашій країні, які ми переживаємо, для нас це є така універсальна формула, щоб не здаватися, щоб вірити, щоб триматися, ну і дійсно при цьому йти вперед. Тому я скажу одне, хай життя переможе все і слава Україні! Героям слава! Uh, let me translate. Let me first one uh, answer your question about uh, where actually animals go to, to the night. Uh, so uh, they found a house. Uh, this sh house shared another volunteer exactly in the city, and uh, also they collaborate with some of the animals clinic uh, in the Kherson in the in the nearest city. So they uh, if uh, they go to go 
back from the water a day, then they try to send animals to the clinic for the first uh, help and for the uh, oh. anything. If uh, they are back with animals uh, at the night or uh, more than night, they just bring uh, with themselves to the house and stay with house with animals. Okay, so, so real quick, just to tell, because some people are having a hard time hearing you, Vlad, I think with the noise. Um, what Vlad is saying is, what they do, I said, where, what do you do with the animals at night? Like, you're getting animals in the blood, and he said, they bring the animals back, there's a clinic they're working with, so typically they try to bring it to the clinic first to make sure the animal's okay, and then they very often take the animals back in the uh, volunteers, somebody, uh, their volunteer home, and they just take the animals back to the homes they're in until, I assume, they can uh, uh, bring them back to Kharkiv or another city. And then they try to find the owners, and if they can't find the owners, you know, that's what they do. Uh, but yeah, we are, uh, we're, we're and, ending and, up. Uh, uh, go on, go on. And the final world, uh, what Ruslan wants to say, uh, he says that uh, a uh, couple of years ago, they are thinking about uh, the main slogan of their organization. And uh, they decided to do their slogan as uh, let life win over everything. Hmm. Something like this one. And uh, regardless of the situation which uh, they are working right now, uh, regardless of the situation what uh, we have in general in Ukraine with this war, with a lot of dangerous things, let life win over the everything. And Slava Ukraini, something like that. That's nice. So basically, right, he said they sort of came up with a slogan recently for a couple last years for their organization. They're an animal welfare group. Um, and the slogan was basically, let life win out. Um, you know, or let, let life win, basically. Um, but uh, anyway, we are uh, talking to this animal welfare group in Ukraine. There's a lot of noise because they're literally on the of saving take from saving the animals to join us live on my TikTok right now. They're in southern Ukraine in the town of Kyrgyzstan, in the region of Kyrgyzstan, uh, where the flooding happened as a result of the Russians blowing up a dam, and they're there uh, saving pets. People's pets were trapped in the flooding. Uh, so literally, he's taking a break on boat to come to us. That's where you're hearing the noise. Uh, we raised over $500. Thank you, everybody, for that. Uh, uh, Vlad will give us a final uh, tally of what you've raised uh, just from your gifts directly via PayPal. A number of you also sent gifts to Ruslan directly, so thank you for that. Meaning you sent the uh, TikTok gifts to him, which they get. If you feel like it, send some last minute TikTok gifts to Ruslan as well right now. Um, and uh, Vlad's going to tell us how much money we raised today on the show for Ruslan's group. And at the same time, finally, um, ask Ruslan one more time to show the surroundings, the boat, the people, so people can get a people can get a sense of the area they're in. Можеш показати ще раз вокруг себе і давай прощатися. The water, the yeah. Well, tell them not to stand up. <laughs> tell them stop standing up. <laughs> Tell him everybody keeps being afraid that he stands up every time and he's going to fall. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you. I wish you a good day. It was a very interesting experience. And for you, it was a very interesting experience. Thank you very much. Bye bye, John. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Tell him this one to check his uh, TikTok gifts because he should have gotten some a decent amount. Okay, okay. Have a good day. Bye. All right, see you guys. I'll say good night. Good night, everybody here. Thank you for this See you. Good luck. All right, guys, that was pretty cool. So that uh, I'm going to hang up in a second, but that was a uh, animal welfare group in Ukraine that we were talking to with my friend Vlad, who's also in Ukraine. And um, they're literally in the floods right now. He said the waters have been up to 15 feet high. Right now it's more like three feet high, which is about a meter. Um, and they are there saving animals, saving people's pets. Um, pretty wild stuff. So uh, he took a break literally on the boat in the middle of the water took a break to join us in the live and talk to, uh, talk to us about what's going on. So very cool. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, you guys donated over $500 to 
to help Ruslan's group during the live, which is amazing. And I saw a number of you gave live gifts as well, the live TikTok gifts. So I'm sure that added up to some nice money as well. Certainly probably 25, 50 bucks for that too. So thank you guys so much. Uh, this is great. So this was a lot of fun, very sort of impromptu. I'm glad you guys were able to show up. And otherwise I will see you, join me on tonight's show, six o'clock Eastern time US, every day, Monday to Friday, we talk about the latest news from Ukraine. Join me for tonight's live and uh, thank you guys. Thank you for helping out and for joining us today. All right, I'll see you all. Thank you. And now I have to wait seven seconds for the video to catch up. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie.